Hey guys, so welcome to another quick tip video. This time creating and using your custom alphas. So what we're gonna do is just create and use a custom alpha, right? I'm just gonna show you how to make a brush out of that as well. So let's get right into it. We're just gonna go here and insert a plane, okay? We're definitely gonna wanna use one of these planes. I'm gonna get out the move brush and I'm just gonna create something really quickly. You don't have to create exactly what I'm creating. This is just a custom version. Now what you do wanna do, something that I kind of made did by mistake here, is you wanna make sure that this shape is well within the square, okay, or the plane. As you can see, I'm drifting a little too much to the bottom there. That's a bit much. So again, you don't have to follow me exactly on this because I'm just creating my own sort of leaf bone type um, shape here. I'm just fast forwarding through it because this is just a very general type. It doesn't have to be exactly what I'm doing. So you can see I'm just scaling that out just to make sure that it's within the, um, the plane, okay, and again on the sides. So I just quickly did that, and again, make sure that yours is well within. Mine's a little bit big, so just make it a little bit smaller. What I'm going to do is zoom out next, okay, on the side there, on the right, and I'm going to go to Document. I'm going to click Pro so that it's unchecked, and we'll go 512 by 512. You can go 124 by, or 1024 by 1024. Um, what you need to do as well is click on Resize. That'll actually resize the document. Click on Yes. Next, we're going to press Control N to get rid of that, and then click and drag it out again so it's properly scaled, okay? And we're going to press T to get back into edit mode. And then we're just going to drag this into the middle. This is kind of the secret tip here for creating alphas. You want it to be within uh, a square, right? Just like this. And again, make sure it's well within the square. <laughs> I've made the mistake again of making it just a little too close. Okay, you just make sure that your shape that you want to create is well within. So we want to click on alpha, drag that to the side, click on, let's say, stroke. Okay, click and drag that here. We're going to use all of these, so I figured we'd keep them in one place. And brush, let's click and drag that to the side as well. One thing you do want to make sure that you have perspective off at this point. That's very important. We want to go to Alpha and Transfer. And then before I click on Grab Doc, I want to make sure that I want to use a brush that I like. So I think Standard Brush is a good brush here. You could use the Clay Buildup or the Standard Brush, any brush that you want. Um, I just think that st the Standard Brush is a good brush for this particular Alpha. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to go over here to Transfer and then Grab Doc. And now you can see that we have the Alpha here. Okay. We're gonna go over here to stroke next and make sure that we have drag rectangle, okay? And we also wanna bump up that intensity. So again, we're, we've already created the alpha, but I'm just creating the brush to go with it because I figured why not. Next, I'm gonna click on the sphere. We're gonna go back to document and change the size, back to the size that you had basically. Click on resize, yes again. Uh, press control N, click and drag the sphere out and press T to get back into edit mode. And then we can just zoom back to where we need to. Okay, in order to zoom, you just click and drag on that button. Okay, next I'm gonna make this a polymesh 3D so we can actually use it. And then press Control D about two or three times, just so it's a little bit smooth. And now we can click and drag. And this is our custom alpha that we're using with our custom brush. Okay, technically it's the standard brush. We haven't actually created a custom brush. And I'm just bumping up that intensity. And as you can see, the edges are a little bit uh, faded, and that's because, like I said, um, you're supposed to have this well within your square or plane. Mine wasn't. It was kind of on the borders, so that's the only reason as to why it's a little bit weird. So I'm just going to do this, and I'm going to make sure that I have an angle that I want it at. Okay, and then I'm going to go over to Brush, and then I'm going to click on Select Icon. And this is going to grab that and create an icon for us, a custom icon. I did this in a previous video where I showed how to make custom IMM brushes. And we're just going to save this. And this is a very important part. You want to make sure to save it under your program files, Pixelogic, ZBrush, Z Startup, and then Brush Presets. Okay. So I'm just going to restart uh, ZBrush here again. Okay. And when you start it up, you press B. You can see here is our custom brush. Okay. I made one previously, but here's the brush 02. Okay. I just called it a leaf brush. Um, and another thing I want to show you guys is under stroke, uh, you can see all our settings here that we had, alpha, stroke, okay, all the settings that we had is on this brush. It didn't overwrite our standard brush because we saved it as a separate one, but if you want, you can go ahead and change the alphas here as well. I'm going to go back to alpha and just drag this out here, yeah, just a few settings you can mess with under modify. I just want to change these V tiles and H tiles both to four, okay, and then if you click and drag, you can see it's now tiling our alpha, okay, and this is really cool. So you can definitely do this, and instead of, you know, doing one at a time, you can do four at a time, or five at a time. And in this case, it's quite a few, so we can definitely click and drag that, and this looks like some sort of bony dinosaur protrusion that you have. Quite a lot of settings here, but I just want to go through that, and I also want to go through radial fade, that's that RF over here. 
if you drag that up it will fade the radius of your alpha okay you can see it's a little bit smooth out on the radius here right on the edges so i'm just going to drag that out i'm going to bring the radial fade back down and now you can see that there's more on this one that i dragged out because the radial fade is less okay or zero in this case and yeah quite a few settings here so i just wanted to mess around with those and show you that you can change it up if you want there's also a noise okay that you can use and that will add just a little bit of texture to your alpha so you don't have to create that beforehand you can just add noise while you're in the setting definitely play around with that check out what you can do and this icon that we made here actually looks a lot cooler than the one we have right so you can definitely go back to your brush select icon again with this icon and then save your brush again and overwrite it and yeah that is pretty much it for this tutorial guys i'd also like to thank you guys for the 100 subscribers actually i think we're on 130 now so once i pass the 100 mark it's really going up so yeah thank you for that and i also wanted you guys to just leave a comment down and let me know what type of videos you guys want um, because I can see quite a lot of you guys are watching the the sped up tutorials where I sculpt characters and then uh, some of my newer videos as well where I do quick tip tutorials are doing quite well as well but I just want to know which one you guys want more of or if you just want both right um, but I can I haven't really done any character tutorials recently because I've been quite busy at work but if you guys want more of those I'm definitely going to start working on those as well so just to make sure i want you guys to comment and just tell me what you guys want from the channel because obviously now i'm just growing and well it's not we're not in thousands yet but <laughs> i just want to make sure you guys want the content or i make the content you guys want and yeah thanks again for the 100 subscribers and let's get it to a thousand i think we'll get there pretty quickly now thanks again guys and i will see you in the next one